Victoria's all mad about their golf, so mad in fact, that they have a radio show twice a week and it's hosted by Mark Allen. Mark, welcome to Golf Getaway. G'day Sean, yeah, nice to be here. You're, um, you've got two shows, Chasing Birdies and The Clubhouse. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I enjoy it, I really enjoy it. I love doing the golf program. I, I do the run home here at 1116 SN as well, the drive program, but um, you know, Chasing Birdies on Wednesday nights, that's what got me started. Uh, I love doing it. I love talking about all aspects of, uh, of the golf, and it's not just a set you know, show every week. Sometimes we mess around, sometimes we make fun of people, sometimes we get serious. It's been a great uh, adventure. We're down filming some of your sandbelt courses, famous all over the world, and it's been our, our pl pleasure. Yeah. What is it about Victorians that love, love their golf so much? I'll tell you what it is, and it's different from just about everywhere in the world. We actually have some golf courses here that inspire people to play. I was lucky enough to get a golf scholarship to Texas Tech a long time ago. And the golf courses that were presented to me at that college, and it was a Division One college, you know, if I was a kid, I wouldn't get out the bed to play. But the courses here in Melbourne, you know, back when I was growing up, we used to have qualifyings at Royal Melbourne. You know, you were putting your hand up because you just wanted to qualify at Royal Melbourne. You didn't necessarily want to play in the tournament, you just wanted to qualify at Royal Melbourne. There, there seems to be golf courses everywhere. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. You know, Metro, Huntingdale was great for a long, long time. Uh, you go down the Morning Peninsula these days, Royal Melbourne have got two. Kingston Heath's one of the best golf courses in the world. Um, they're all over the place. Peninsula, what they're doing down there at the moment. I mean, these are golf courses that make you want to get out of bed and play. Your favourite course? If I had one to play for the rest of my life, Royal Melbourne Composite. The old routing, not the new routing, the old routing, I'd play it every day for the rest of my life and be happy. Wow. And it's just, just, just a great feeling to be down here and to play golf. And, and you've, got the, um, you've got the Masters coming. You've got, yeah. you know, you've got the World Cup of golf. Yeah. Uh, why does Victoria again seem to, to, to nail those tournaments more than anyone else? Uh, I think uh, these days the infrastructure at Royal Melbourne and Kingston Heath in particular, those two clubs, uh, the, the, the land that they have and the ability to put on a show. And that's the difference. You know, you get to some courses in Australia, even though they're b beautiful, brilliant golf courses, the infrastructure, basically all you're doing is going to watch the golf. We're here in Victoria, we're more likely to put on a show. You know, we want you to come to the corporate facility. We want you to come to our grandstands and watch the beautiful shots in. We want you to go down the driving range, which I think is one of the great parts of going to the golf. Your best moment in golf? My best moment in golf? Uh, be it broadcasting, be it, be it, be it uh, your own personal career? Oh, personal career. Uh, look, I think the first time I played any good was I came fifth in the Australian Open a long time ago, 92, and that set me on the way. Some good players playing that week. Um, so that was, a, that was a big moment for me personally. I think most golfers will say the same thing. The first time they actually did something special. Um, my, my biggest moment in golf, I get, to tell, I get to go to Augusta each year, and uh, I can honestly say that when we take people to Augusta for the very first time, when we're sitting in the bus on the way home, and I sit in the front usually, we turn the radio down and I just listen to the stories of people talking about Augusta. That, that makes me happy every year. Mark, we have a tradition on golf getaway. What's We're the closest to the pin. Clo All right. Could be a little bit tricky in the studio. <laughs> can we make it work? Can we have a can we have a putting comp? Yeah, let's do it. You and me? Yeah. Please. I've got Come a, on. I've got a course worked out. <laughs> have you? All let's, right, let's, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Well, Mark. <laughs> I've checked it out. Here's the plan, right? We go past all the stars here. All right. Down the stairs. Bang, bang, into the bucket. I oh, know, it's a pretty big bucket, but a uh, tough hole all, all, all the same. You've played this hole before? I've played it a couple of times, funnily enough. And I'll, can I give you a little tip? Yeah. Don't make the ball bounce on every step. Two bounces, straight in the guts. Right, OK. Well, listen, do you mind if you show me the line? I'm going to show you exactly what to do here. You ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a look, eh? That's unusual. Come on. Uh, oh, uh, my uh, uh, oh my god! Oh my god! You're not going to take that. Right in the middle of the hole, too, I want you to notice. That's very unusual. We'll see you go backwards, but. That's it. Well, you must have put backspin on. <laughs> Righto. Come on, oh, this is an I easy might, hole. I might struggle to beat that. This is an easy hole. Come on. I might struggle to beat that. Well, with the putting grip like that, you will. Oh! 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 There oh. it goes! Oh. 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 Oh! <laughs> Bad luck, Sean, eh? Mate, thanks for coming on Golf Getaway. Hey, Great my, to have you. My pleasure, my pleasure.